Hey guys, so Vlogmas Day 3, or Day day 5, Part 3, <laughs> need to keep that straight. Uh, so I've uploaded Part 2, um, which was the 2nd and 4th, because I didn't record anything on the 3rd. Um, so it's the 5th now today, and I'm just getting ready to go into town for the CMS Bake Off. I'm pretty sure I've mentioned that before. Uh, but it was basically my department in university does a Christmas bake off. Um, it's not for another few hours yet, but I. Sorry, just a little burp there. Um, I've been drinking a lot of Fanta, and I haven't been drinking much, much fizzy drinks since I moved here, so it's making me burp with it. But um, yeah, I want to go into town a bit early because basically I've been watching too many. Um, too many Poundland hauls on on YouTube and it's making me want to decorate my room a bit. I did a little bit and I did have um, star fairy lights hung up on this notice board and I have moved them so they're here now. So, yeah, little stars there. Um, I don't know how well they're going to stay up there but they're there because I can't stick them up with sellotape because that'll damage the The wood, the wood finish. It's like it's not actual wood, but it'll damage this, and I'll lose my deposit. So at the moment, it's just stuck there with uh, with washi tape. But I don't know how long it'll stay there. Um, but anyway, I might go into Poundland and get some like some really cheap tinsel or something, and put it around my mirror, or, or get something to put on the windowsill or something, and just you know, a little bit of festivity in the room. Um, so I'm gonna do that, and I'm gonna head to the bake off. Um, I spent the morning as well trying to catch up on my December dailies because I had forgotten about it and I've kind of realised already there's a few days where I didn't do anything and I didn't take any pictures and I'm like what am I going to put on there? So I'm bringing my Instax with me to the bake off. Hopefully I'll remember to take a picture. Um, but I printed out a few pictures because like there's one day where basically all I did was go to work and then come home, have dinner, and watch Sleepy Hollow, so I printed out just a picture of the um, Sleepy Hollow Season 1 poster, just a little picture to like stick into my journal and just say, look, I had a Sleepy Hollow marathon, um, which I'll probably continue today because I'm like halfway through Season 2. So that's what I'm going to do now, I'm going to just pack up a few things and head into town, and I guess I'll talk to you later. Hey guys, so it's been a while since I actually recorded, um, today is Friday, and I think I last recorded on Tuesday when I was going out to the uh, Bake Off, um, but I did go to the Bake Off, and it was really fun, it was good fun, we um, had lots of cake, a friend of mine made um, a chocolate whiskey cake, which was just so nice, I had so many of them. So many slices of that, and someone had made um, little gingerbread monks, not gingerbread men, gingerbread monks, because, you know, it was medieval themed, so, monks, elbowing my lamp. Um, and so we just had some cake, we had some mulled wine, and then some of the girls were actually saying about going out, and I wound up in pub, we were planning on going to the Christmas market for like mulled wine or fancy hot chocolate or whatnot, but we were passing a cool pub in town called Valhalla that everyone was like, oh my god, it's a Tuesday evening, it's actually going to be empty, and it turned out they were having a comedy night. Sorry, you can probably hear my flatmates. Um, so they were having a comedy night, so we stayed there for a couple of drinks, and we headed uh, to another pub, and someone else joined us, and we wound up going to a club, and it was it was great fun. Like, it was good fun, and I was glad I kind of stopped drinking when I did, so was, and I wasn't too too hungover the next day, because I did have to go to work. Um, and so that's why I didn't record that on Wednesday, because I didn't really do anything. I was just at work. And then yesterday I had a day off, but again, I didn't do anything, and a friend of mine, or... Yeah, one of my friends, one of my flatmates, um, was going home yesterday, so she she left this really cute note in our kitchen and a load of chocolates for us, which was so sweet, but, you know, it was a little sad, I think that she can just 
go home so easily and I have to wait another two weeks before I can get home for Christmas, which I'm really looking forward to. I can't wait. Um, so I've decided that I am going to make my room a bit more festive because I was just relaxing yesterday watching TV. I was watching The Grinch actually and I had these on and my Christmas lights on and it was just really nice and homey and you know, I thought maybe putting some more decorations up might, you know, I don't know, make the place nicer. So I actually went to Poundland. I'll put you down and show you what I got. We'll just do a very informal very informal haul. Oh, there's light flare. Okay, I'll put you there. Excuse the mess. I am going to tidy. Okay, so what did I get in Poundland? First of all, because they were half price, I finally got an advent calendar. On the 8th of December, and I finally got an advent calendar. See, you can see it better, it's like that. So it's Justice League. So we have Wonder Woman, Aquaman, Superman, Batman, Flash, and Cyborg. I still haven't seen the movie though, which is annoying me. Hello. I haven't exactly heard great things about it. Um, I got five meters of some very thin tinsel. Um, I'm thinking I might put that around the mirror back there, and we'll see. I got a little tinsel wreath that I might put on my little nose board outside of my door. So you know, I'll have I have a little thing on my nose board that just says my name. So I might have that in here and then just something nice around it. Or I might hang it on the door. I don't know. And I got two meters of a thicker tinsel that I might put on my bookshelf or something. But I didn't want to go all out because like I'm only decorating my room for a few weeks, and then I have to bring it all home. Or not. for like a pound, I might just throw it in the bin. We'll see. This I actually really like. It's a countdown. Can you see it? I'm thinking actually, hold on, I'll take it out of the packaging. I kind of want to save the packaging now, because look at it. Put that on my December dailies for today. <laughs> Bear with me. Damn it, there we go. I don't want to just rip it if I'm going to use it. There we go. There we go, a little countdown. Cute little blocks so you flip them around so like you know, oh, there's only 15 days left that's so cute you could almost use this as a countdown to anything i mean i know it's got it's star but it's not that Christmassy because it's like blue and okay it kind of looks like it has a snowflake in the middle of it but hey um so yeah uh, that's what i got oh and <laughs> i am so addicted to these things but it was only a pound it was only a pound I never I've never found them anywhere for a pound unless they were like on sale or on clearance and it's like I'm not spending 150 on one but for a pound <laughs> so I might actually um, set you up in the corner where you can see a lot of the room do a bit of tidying a bit of decorating finally going to change my bed I know I said I'd do that like last week finally going to do it um, and yeah you can see me decorating such as it is <laughs>
so I just thought I'd move you over here real quick because I am taking out my advent calendar. Put it there. Now that doesn't work. Now it's too dark. Better? It's better. Alright, so I'm taking this out. I think it's so funny you see all the like advent calendar openings on online and they're all like big fancy ones of me. I'm like, no. I'll take my 50p Justice League one. But what I like about it is it's got these two little leg things that I realise you can't see at all, so I'm going to take them out. So I can stand it up. You see? So it's got two legs. So I can keep it stood up like that. Because they normally only have this hole at the top, and it's like, I don't hang mine on a wall. Although I could this year, because I have no sports. Mmm, now I'm conflicted. I could put it on the notice board over there, but I think I'd kick it. Because I have a whiteboard over there that I tend to kick in my sleep. Mmm, might fit over there. Might not. We'll see. I'm sure it doesn't stand. Oh. Doesn't stand very well. Kind of stands. I realise there's a lot of flare on it. What is that? Oh. Okay. <laughs> right. So I couldn't figure out what was reflecting there. Okay. So today being the eighth, I get to eat a buttload of chocolate. I'm just curious because you know some advent calendars they are different. It's like they have foil over them or they don't have foil on them. Sometimes there's something written on the back of the doors. So I'm just curious and I thought I'd record me opening them. Opening them like five days. Oh well. Fifty P you get what you pay for. No foil. Nothing fancy on the back of the door. But hey, I get to eat eight pieces of chocolate. So that's good. Uh, one has a creepy Santa on it. Yes, I need a creepy Santa. And a bell. It's gonna take all eight of them. Or should I pace it? Should I spread out catching, catching up on my eight chocolates? No, I'll spread it out. Because I've also already eaten about a quarter of my chocolate egg. And I don't plan to stop eating it. <laughs> decorated such as it is you know a little bit of tinsel here and there but I like it I especially like that can you see it yeah ignore all of that I haven't tidied yet that that is fantastic for a pound I love it it's gorgeous it's definitely being used when I go home um I don't know if I'll use it all year round but next year's Christmas decorations that thing is coming back out um, so I've just got the room decorated, and I'm gonna hop into bed, because I'm in my pajamas. So, I've changed my blanket, changed my duvet, wearing nice clean pajamas, and I'm gonna have a very cosy night in. Um, actually I should show you this, because it's in the background. I might show you properly tomorrow, because this video is already gonna be pretty long. That right there, that is my bow. That's Leo. Hi Leo. I'm I'm weird, I named my bow. Well I don't know if it's weird. Everyone in my old club named their bows. I don't think people after my new club. But I realise I haven't mentioned anything about doing archery or owning a bow. I will talk to you about that tomorrow though. For now, I'm going to bed. So thanks for watching. Bye.